Welcome back to the SST classroom. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Students, in the last video, we started our chapter that is lesson number 7, Forest and Wildlife. Right students? And in that, what we have learned? We have learned about the introduction. That is, we have learned about what is forest. So students, can you tell me what is forest? A forest is an area which is covered with trees, bushes, scrub and grasses. Right students? And after that we have learned about this forest are the gift of nature and it is very important for us. Right? We have learned about the importance of forest. So in that we have discussed about that forest uh, provide forest give us many things such as timber, medicinal herb, rubber, gum, honey, etc. Right? And the uh, wood which come from the forest, we make many things from wood. Right? We uh, we make many things from wood such as table. Chair, wardrobe, cupboard, desk, etc. Right, students? And then we have discussed about this forest. It protects us from soil erosion. Right? And then further we discussed about this forest is a home to the wild animals. Right? Different wild animals, the forest provide them a shelter. And also we have learned that the trees give us oxygen which is very important for our health. Got it? And then further we discuss about this forest also helping precipitation means the rainfall. Right? The rainfall and the snowfall on the earth that is known as precipitation. So forest also helping precipitation. Right students? Now students, today we are going to discuss about the types of forest. What we are going to discuss today? Types of forest. So student, in India, there are five types of forest. So which are they? First, evergreen forest. Second, deciduous forest. Third, third thorn forest. Fourth, mountain forest and fifth, tidal forest. Okay, students. So, students, we are going to discuss one by one all these five types of forest. So, in today's video, students, we are going to discuss about evergreen forest and deciduous forest. So, students, evergreen forest, when you heard the word evergreen, what comes in your mind? Means evergreen. Everywhere green and green. Greenery. Right? So student, evergreen forest, as the name suggests, evergreen. So this forest remains evergreen throughout the year. So there is some reason behind it. Why this forest remains evergreen throughout the years? Because here the leaves of the trees continually fall down and in that place a new leaves come. Evergreen forest is a type of forest and this type of forest are very very dense. You can see here in the image this type of forest are very dense and are found in the areas where receiving heavy rainfall. So this type of forest are found in the areas where the area received very heavy rainfall. Got it? And let's see in India where these forests are found. So these forests are found. So these forests are found on the slope of the Western Ghat. Students, you can see here in the map. So you will understand the evergreen forest where it found in India. It found on the slope of Western Ghat, the hills of Northeast India, and Andaman and Nicobar Island. So, student, where the evergreen forests are found in India? 
on the slopes of western ghats the hills of north east india and andaman and nicobar island got a student now students trees of this forest are very tall and the leaves here are broad you can see here in the image the trees are very tall and the leaves here are very broad got a student i hope till here you have understood about the evergreen forest now students these trees are from form canopy at the top students you might be confused about the word canopy now to better understand i will give you one example you have uh, in rainy season what you use to protect yourself umbrella right now you see the umbrella here the rod is there up what is there it is a cover right so same here you see the image of the trees the covering of the branches is known as canopy so my dear students here in evergreen forest you will see the canopy at the top and this canopy does not allow the sunlight to reach under the ground for the students i hope students you have understood about the evergreen forest now students you will see that we uh, evergreen forest uh, you will see the which types of trees are there so here in the evergreen forest there, there are ebony mahogany and rosewood okay students students the wood of this trees is very hard and this wood is a uh, good for using the furniture right students the woods are very hard and are mostly used for furniture making got okay, it students i hope students you have understood about the evergreen forest okay now let's discuss about the deciduous forest now students let's talk about the deciduous forest now students do you know this deciduous forest are also called monsoon forest because it shed the leaves in dry season and regrow it in the monsoon season that is why these forests are called monsoon forests for the student why the deciduous forests are called monsoon forests because it shed the leaves in a dry season and regrow it in monsoon season so because of that these deciduous forests are called monsoon forests for the student now students we will see in which part in india there is deciduous forests are found okay so deciduous forests are usually found in the foot hills of himalayas foot hills of himalayas mountain and in the wetter part of southern plateau or you can say deccan plateau and also it found in andhra pradesh jharkhand and odisha so students this deciduous forest cover more area than they are than evergreen forest okay students now we see students that uh, which trees are found in the deciduous forest so here the main trees is tea and sal you can see here in the image tea and sal is the main trees which is found in the deciduous forest and the other trees are other trees which are common here are shrisham sandalwood mahua semol and bamboo so these are the other trees which is found in the deciduous forest for the students and the hard wood of this trees are is considered as a most expensive
expensive okay as consider as a most expensive you know expensive is very costly so students i hope you have understood about the deciduous forest so students can you tell which trees are found in the deciduous forest that is sal teak mahua simon bamboo and shisha understood so i hope students you have understood about the deciduous forest now students what you are going to do you have to read the textbook and underline the important points okay students now take down your new words first evergreen forest second western ghat third andaman and nicobar fourth canopy fifth rosewood sixth mahagami seventh deciduous eight